Hi, everybody. So we are continuing to count up and do the inventory. No, sorry. Do the inventory. We're done with the inventory. Now it is time to begin the fuselage. So the first chapter is all about doing the three bulkheads, uh, of, or the three main bulkheads of the med fuselage. Uh, pretty cool. Two of them make up the wing box, and then there's this one. So this is the bulkhead that goes uh, more or less right behind the seat. So what we're doing is basically attaching the left and right braces to this bulkhead as well as the uh, two attach points for the rear spar of the wings. And this is the bulkhead that will sit basically just behind the seat. And actually to help it line up you temporarily attach the crossbar. So the crossbar that basically makes it a rectangle is the bar that's actually behind your seat. So it's nice to have so much help in the hangar. Of course, Victor's only here because Yoko is here. For anyone that missed the last video, Yoko is a member of the club who is helping me. Student at the club and she's trying to uh, solo before she goes back to school. So, good luck, Yoko. So also attached to this uh, bulkhead is where the rear spar will be attached. Oh, look at this. This is shameful. For two years, I've, almost two years, I've been building this plane. Every time I see Victor, he's like, hey, well, let me see what, what's going on. So Victor, Victor's a nice German man. He's built an RV-7, five or six gliders. Very smart. Very smart man. So I keep coming by. I'm like, hey... You, you know, you want to come see the build, he comes in, and I'm like, yeah, if you want to you know, want to do some riveting, or... I've been trying to get him to do something, and he has not helped. First time I get a uh, young female assistant. Shameful. Shameful, Victor. So, anyway. Oh, uh, I also have, uh, and I just went and picked him up, he's just joined the video... Uh, that is Chris. Chris is a member of the club, and he's, uh, I, I think he came about a year and a half ago to help out. So he emailed me, wanted to come by and see how the build was going. It's, not, it's nice, uh, you know, we have a pretty big membership, like 150 members, and you know, I just get emails from people randomly in the club that I barely know. But it's cool, I love it, because they are all my family. I don't see them a lot, you know. People fly at different times, and I'm not here all the time. I'm, if I'm, I'm lucky to be out here. So, yeah, I'm just introducing everyone again to the wonders of deburring. Oh, man, let me tell you, it's been a while. And, uh, you know, it, it's funny because I kind of missed a little bit as I'm deburring this. I'm like, you know what? I kind of mi I'm, I'm, I missed using this tool and making this right. It's, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, and I'm glad that I enjoy it because there's going to be a lot of it. And it's nice having a lot of people helping. Deber, Yoko Deber. Oh, it was great. It's great having good, competent help. And competency will be a factor uh, for the fuselage. Uh, let's just say, so, okay, the empennage kit, the instructions were very simple. It was a step-by-step, -step, everything. Deburring, match, final drilling, clecoing, all of it. Now you open up the fuselage and you look at the second page. Uh, fabricate this bracket assembly as shown from these pieces. Uh, you know, make sure you've got the orientation correct. Okay, double flush rivet these holes. Do this and that. 
and they expect you to know all the steps in between. They, you know, they, they're not going to mess around, because if they did, those instructions would be twice as thick. So yeah, there's, you know, there's basically three things to do on every page. It's, it's going to be fun. I can see why this takes so long, so, but I'm excited. Uh, so, yep, yeah, uh, in the next video, we will continue. We're actually riveting on some double plates there. So we'll see you soon.